Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually really exciting because I have like about, as you all know from my previous video, I'm actually reading the Spanish Love Deception and I love it so far. But today I actually wanted to pick up the camera and talk to you guys. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out. So I wanted to pick up the camera and talk to you guys because I am on chapter 20 now and I have seven more chapters until I finish this book and then the epilogue, 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 but I can't even speak. But yeah, I have seven more chapters and then one extra bonus chapter, like one year after the last chapter ends and I finished this book. I will tell you guys, I've been extremely busy this semester. So, like, I've been slowly taking my time with this book. But today, I was going to read chapter 20. And I was like, why don't I just make a video out of it? Make it more fun. Make it more exciting. And then, at the end of this video, I will show you which books I am going to start on. Well, actually, no. I need to decide which books. And then I'll start on that book. But until then, keep tight. Keep watching if you want to see my reaction to the next seven chapters of the Spanish Love Deception. Hello guys, it is the next day. I'm actually on my way to the nail salon right now because I want to get my nails done. Not for Valentine's Day, but like in general, I just want to feel good about myself. My friend, inshallah, she is doing my nails. So yeah, I'm excited for that. I wanted to come here and talk to you guys about reading chapter 20. I finished it this morning. Uh, it was a good chapter. It was short, but good, you know? So I read it this morning. I Well, I finished reading it this morning. And I brought my book with me just in case, but I don't know. We'll see. But I finished reading chapter 20, and it was so cute. The way Erin was like, you know, trying to calm her down when her cousin and then her cousin's mom came and then her mom and her tia, tia, is it? Her aunt, yeah, her aunt and her abuela came and it's just like, it's so cute. Like, he was calming her down, he was trying to calm her down and like, she knew in that moment that there was no going back because her grandma, she liked him when he introduced himself so now she was like oh there's no turning back now so yeah chapter 20 was cute it was like the after morning of the aftermath of chapter 19 so basically like they fell in well they had to sleep in the same bed ironically so now it's like the aftermath of the night before there was nothing done the night before but like he said something in that chapter, I'm not going to spoil it, but like, he said something in that chapter that makes her be like, oh my god, he is legitimately serious, he's, like, I don't think he's faking this, well, I mean, she is so oblivious to the fact that he genuinely likes her, loves her, and that's what frustrates me, because like, she's naive and oblivious to that fact, but as a reader, we can li literally... We can see him falling for her. Like, we know he's already done for her. Like, he, he fell for her. Like, we know. Legitimately, we know that he, long before they even went to Spain, that he likes her and that he's in love with her. And that's what's so frustrating that she really can't even realize that. that I'm like, come on. Come on. Do you really need it to be spelled out for you? Like, come on. Come on, girl. But yeah, that's my thought on chapter 20. It was cute, short, and just, you know, cuteness overload for real though. Guys, okay, so I actually got to read one chapter last night. It was like the cutest chapter ever. Like, oh my God. It was like the cutest thing I've ever seen between Evan and Christina. And the way that he... Okay, so basically... Katina, Katlina. Okay, I'm gonna call her Lena because this is easier for me. But Lena, she confessed as to why she left Spain, like what happened when she had to leave Spain. 
like what happened with her relationship with Daniel, which we don't like, and why she left Spain. And Erin was just listening to her, and I was like, you're in love with her. Like, if the readers cannot see that he's in love with her at that moment, then honestly, I don't know what you guys have been reading because it's not that. Literally, he was just like listening to her, comforting her. And I was like, oh my god. Do men even exist such as Aaron Black Blackburn? Because like, he likes Disney. He likes Pixar. You know, like a grown man really likes it. But like, as he said in previous chapters that this is gonna be spoilers by the way sorry but like as he said in previous chapters that cartoon something about emanation makes them calm so like you know you relax when you watch emanation there's not like high tension or drama in emanation like it, it knows the plot basically so like he likes Disney and Pixar and I was like bro that's a grown adult liking Disney and Pixar how much more better could that get like honestly so sorry I'm driving so like yeah I was very very surprised <coughs> like a good surprise so it was just I don't know something cute about that it's like the cutest thing ever. I mean, it wasn't the cutest thing ever. But like, yeah, back to the actual chapter. You know what I'm talking about? He just comforted her. He listened to her. Like, bro, what the heck is it with these men that don't listen? Like, listen to your woman for real. So, it was just... Mm, and then, I think this is a chapter where... Lena is like, is this not fake to Aaron? Like, this is not fake to him. This is real. And she's just starting to be like, oh, this is like real for me too. Like, I, I can't help but feel it is real for me. So I was just like, oh my God, girl, you are literally falling for him. And you don't even realize that. Like, like, oh, so much happening. So today, I want to read chapter 22, I think it is, or 23. I might have read two chapters, but I don't remember. But to be honest, I did read chapter 20. So I might be on chapter 21 or 22. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, my God. I'll let you guys know when I get home. But, yeah, I'm just like... Lena, congratulations on, you know, knowing his feelings. I'm just like, girl, oh, come on. It took you, like, majority of the book just to know what he's feeling for you. And I'm like, like, you can see as the reader, you can literally see that he loves her from the beginning. Like, he's not just playing with her. He genuinely loves her from the beginning. And, like, honestly, I don't like Daniel because... Again, this is gonna be a spoiler, like, yeah. But I don't like Daniel because he literally does nothing. Literally does nothing to stand up for Kathleena when, you know, like the rumors got out. And like, he just, he just didn't do anything. And so, you know, like, it also is dealing with, but uh, being a female is like hard. Which I agree with Lena because like literally you can be a female and like you would get in trouble much more than the male. Which honestly shouldn't surprise me but it does. Anyway. Yeah that's what I thought. I oh my god I really wanted to punch Daniel when he talked to Lena in the book. In the chapter. Because I was like uh uh get away from my girl. Don't you dare talk to her like you lost that right I'm gonna actually take a picture of the book once I get home but there was a 
there was a part and underlined in that chapter that Lena tells Daniel, like it's so empowering. It's like a feminist empowerism. Yeah, like oh my gosh, she really told him, like she told him off. Anyway, I'm gonna drive. I will see you guys when I get home because I'm not gonna go home now. So I will see you when I get home. Hey guys, I just finished chapter 21 and oh my god, it was so so good, it was so spicy, well, I mean, it was kind of spicy, so you know, it's like it's spicy, but it's not. He teases her. I mean, like, they, she literally teases her. I'm gonna read it out loud because why not? He was like, I'm not gonna do that. His voice was husky, bathed in the need I felt watching over my body. Not now. Why I breathed out? Because I wouldn't be able to help myself. He growled in my ear. The first time I'm inside of you is not going to be close to fucking in the wall. Oh my god, I'm strike. He's really like setting high standards from guys in real life. So, Aaron Blackford, he's really setting my expectations so high. So high. I am going to read one more chapter and then I'll come back and talk to you guys about it. Hey guys, so it's the next day and today is Valentine's Day. So this is why I'm like all dressed up. Um, I'm on chapter 24 currently, still reading chapter 24. And it's like interesting that, oh my God. It's so interesting because the last chapter was cute on the ending. So I would like... Like, it was steamy, and I had to skip a lot of stuff because it was steamy. Like, spicy steamy. Yeah, that that kind of spiciness. So, I had to skip it, and now, um, I read, like, the last few paragraphs on chapter 23. Because that's where is the chapter that happens, all the steaminess. So, I, let, I read the last few, um, chapters. I mean, paragraphs. Boy, I read my copy. I la read the last few paragraphs on, in that chapter, and oh my god, I was just melting. If you think Olaf can melt, you should have seen me, because I was just like melting, like... Yeah, because there is a part where Aaron... Okay, so they play this little game. I think it was a little game. There's a, this little thing that they were doing. They were playing with each other. So I read you the part where it actually made me went like, oh my God. So it said when Aaron finally spoke, it sounded like a promise. I earned my four letter word. And then I annotated it. So I'll put a picture of it up here. And I actually annotated that part. And I put a question mark to what I said. But you guys can see what it says. So I was like... I was like, that's three words out. Anyway, I cannot wait to finish chapter 24 because after that, we would have like two more chapters because that would be on chapter 25. But I need to go get my copy. You guys are going to watch the Valentine's Day vlog. So that, you, you already know the gist of it. But yeah, I am going to go see if I can pick up my coffee. If not, I'm going to read a little bit more in my car until I can and then I'll talk to you guys so it is a few days later like literally two days and I just finished the Spanish love deception I oh my god did pick this up that is all I can say honestly the Spanish love deception got me out of my reading slump. I've been in it for years in the reading slump. I could never, like, I buy books. Literally, that Michelle Obama book that's sitting on my bookshelf. It's been there since the beginning.
beginning of my college so i was like freshly into college like freshly out of high school and i never picked it up but i'm gonna pick it up during the summer but that is gonna have to be an announcement for later but honestly it is 400 and something words not me looking to see how many words it is well 437 437 words to be exact including the extra bonus chapter but like you guys this book has me out of my slump it made me so so happy to read it and blackford if you're a real kid can you please like marry me or something <laughs> no this guy is like perfection he's like the ideal boyfriend who loves disney who loves pixar Willing to meet the family, he's in love with the girl that he's supposed to hate. Ah, oh, just the Disney had it for me. That like, that was it. I was like, oh my god, he is, and like literally, he just he's perfect. Can we agree? Can we agree? I don't, I don't know how to hold the book. Apparently, so I'm like jiggling, wee like this. But this book, oh my god, and. I want to pick up the other book by Elena Armas. Is it the American Roommate Experience? I think that's what it's called. I want to pick that up because I heard that Lena and Aaron like make their own small cameo in there. But also because I want to hear about Rosie. She's my girl. Like, oh, God bless her. Rosie, she's like the ideal best friend. I love that. Anyway. The Spanish Love Deception, what did I think about it? What are my opinions? Well, getting into this, it is a slow burn for me. Just me. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this was a slow burn. And in a good way. I enjoy slow burns because you get to see how they get together. Like, it's not automatically off the bat. Once you pick up the book, it's like, oh, they're already together and they have drama already. No, like, there is some sort of... There's, like, some sort of something going on and they're not friends or they are friends and something happens. But, you know, like, slow burn books are my favorite book. And this, like, gave me all the feels. I really love this book. Like, I cannot be any more grateful for it. And it's just, it's an amazing book. And I annotated it. So it's my first book that I've annotated. There's not a lot that I annotated. But now that I look at it, it's like cute annotations. Yeah. I... I really love this book. I mean, I keep saying that, but I genuinely, genuinely love it. It's like the book that got me out of my reading slump. I am forever grateful for the Spanish love deception. But now it's time to retire. I might lend people this book if they want to read it. Like, if you want to see what were my thoughts in this and stuff, I could. It's not like annotated a lot but it is annotated and it has my first thoughts so yeah this is a spanish love deception i think lena okay listen i know a lot of people like her i like her like don't get me wrong i like her but come on she was like she couldn't see that aaron genuinely loved her like since the beginning like it was auto shock like girl are you really that naive I'm just saying, like, is, was she really that naive? Like, I understand the situation, but, like, come on, come on. A guy was literally going to buy you, like, everything from the store. Well, not everything, but, like, you know, he you bought your coffee, he you bought your thing. But, yeah, he just... This book, this book, I, oh my god, this is like a 5 out of 5 stars for me. Pick this book up if you can, because you will not regret it. There are steamy scenes as a fair warning, honestly, but I like in the last few chapters, like, I don't know when it happens. But yeah, the Spanish love deception. This is my baby, this is like 
the book for me that got me out of my reading slump and I'm so so happy that it helped me get out of my reading slump because I was like in a bad reading slump and any book that I liked or I liked the cover of or I liked the person on I would pick it up and I would just not read it which is not good because I picked up the book to read it but this book helped me get out of my slump and now hopefully I can go into my other books and read them. I do have Goodreads so I'll leave a link to my Goodreads down below so if you want to follow me on Goodreads to see like my thoughts and stuff. Even though you, you will still see my thoughts here but you know like Goodreads is also a good way and everybody's on there so yeah. So, Spanish Love Deception, we love her, we love it, we chip it. Okay, now it's time for the book that I'm reading next. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, what are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? Because that's where I give out all my hints of the books and my reactions and my life, all of that. But the next book that I am reading, I am so, so excited. Like, literally, I would, I really love this video. But, like, I made it so that I can announce my next book as well. I'm kind of looking at it right now. So, my next book is... Are you guys ready for it, though? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you... Are you really ready? Okay, I'm gonna stop teasing you. But, yes, the next book is Daisy Jones and the Six. Oh my god, you guys, I know there's a TV show coming up about this. And I saw the trailer on Instagram yesterday. I picked her up today. So the day that I'm recording this, I picked her up. And I am going to read the book while now, starting now, I'm going to read the book. And when the TV show comes out, I'm... Phil might be halfway through it. We'll see. She is she is big for me, but like I wanna read it. And I'm annotating this as well. So yeah, annotating, reading, and we're gonna watch the show. The show is coming out March 3rd on Amazon Prime, I believe believe. So yeah, I'm reading Daisy Jones and the Sticks. Honestly, with me, I prefer books that are romance thriller i prefer them to be raw like you know talking about heavy topics and stuff so this is perfect i am going to read the back of it for you guys but yeah let's see so daisy is a girl coming of age in la in the late 60s sneaking into clubs on the sunset strip Sleeping with rock stars and dreaming of singing at the Whiskey A Go Go. Her voice is getting noticed, and she has the kind of heedless beauty that makes people do crazy things. Also getting noticed is The Six, a band led by the brooding Billy Dunny. On the eve of their first tour, his girlfriend Camelia finds out she's pregnant. And with the pressure of impending fatherhood and fame, Billy goes a little wild on the road. Daisy and Billy cross paths when a producer realizes that the key to supercharged success is to put the two together. What happens next will become the stuff of legend. The making of that legend is chronicled in this retrieving novel written as if it were the oral history of one of the biggest bands of the 70s. In Daisy Jones and the Sticks, Tyler Jenkins read it brilliantly captured an unforgettable place and time in an utterly decisive voice. I am so excited for this. What the heck? Yes, let's get this girl going. Oh my God, yes. I saw who they cast at Billy and can I just say, I love his movies like, Yes, and Daisy, I think that was Daisy, right in the beginning of the trailer, please, please, let it be Daisy, because I think, I think that was Daisy, yeah, it's Daisy, but yeah, Daisy, who they casted as, Billy, 
um the rest of the cash we will have to see but yes i'm gonna be reading this book and i'm gonna do a vlog so you guys get to see me reading this book and yeah so this is daisy jones and the six i'm actually so excited about this but yeah so yes so thank you so much for watching today's video I know you guys probably didn't really like it because it was like the last few chapters of the Spanish Love Deception, which I do apologize. I wanted to make a vlog of me reading the entire book. Well, not the entire book, but you know, like a reading vlog. But I'm busy, busy studying, busy being on e-boards, busy doing stuff. So, you know, I just didn't have the time to pick up the camera and stuff. So, yeah, I'm so sorry about that, especially if you guys wanted to see, like, so many things from the first chapter, like, the first half of the book. I do apologize for that, but I do promise that for Daisy Jones and the Six, you guys will be getting, like, at least every few chapters of my reaction when reading this. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!